Hello everyone, Brian from Red River, and today we're just going to go over a few quick tips in Microsoft Teams. There's a lot of things I found that I do on a daily basis using Microsoft Teams that helps me get my work done a little bit faster. The first thing I want to go over is the ability to have a unified presence when you're actually in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Over in this Teams channel, you can see that I already have a meeting going. If I select join, I can choose the options for this device, join now, and I'm inside of the meeting. From Natasha's view, you can see I'm using the camera that's currently on computer, but I'm gonna have to step away. So from Steve's side, I'm gonna join the meeting from my phone. And that will allow me to have all the resources that are on my phone and bring it into the meeting without having multiple presences. I can turn off my camera here, turn on my camera on my mobile, and now I could take Nakacha with me throughout my whole entire house. This is useful if you're trying to bring another device with more resources into the meeting, such as an iPad with a stylus for the whiteboarding sessions, or you're trying to transition a meeting to another device like your cell phone or a laptop to take it with you. The second tip we're going to go over is how to make a quick edit to a typo that you may have put. This happens to us all the time. We, we hit enter on a message and we realize we've made a mistake. Now we all know we can come over to the ellipses, hit edit, and then make that modification, but you can just double tap up on your keyboard. It'll bring you to the edit screen and you can make that change and hit enter. The third thing I wanna go over is some quick shortcuts that you have directly in the Teams interface. Over at the top, if you hit the backslash, there's a few things that you can do without having to go directly to it. A quick one that I utilize is the do not disturb. This is handy where if you're inside of a meeting and your coworkers don't seem to realize it, you can come up, throw a quick do not disturb so that you're able to focus on that meeting and then get back to them later. Fourth, we've all been there. Sometimes in Teams, it's easy for things to get a little bit lost. Coming up to your search bar, if you wanna look for it and you type it in, you can actually change the context of your search from messages to people, to files to help you find things quicker. You can even filter it further to find what you need very quickly. The last thing we're gonna go over is the ability to pin common tasks directly to your chat bar. Down here in the message, you'll be able to see some common things and shortcuts that we're able to do, but anything after the menu meeting is completely customizable. For example, if I never plan on sharing stream, I can right click and click on pin. If you ever wanted to add anything new, click the ellipses, search for the app you want, right click and pin it. Now, if I ever wanted to add a form directly to a chat session, I can simply click on forms. Thanks for joining me again. Be sure to like and subscribe and download the ebook if you wanna learn more about Microsoft Teams in the description. Thanks.